Washington, D.C. Last year, a faction of Democrats attributed Donald Trump's presidential victory to former FBI Director James Comey's announcement days before the election that his agency was re-examining whether Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton had violated security protocols by sending official emails from a private server while she was Secretary of State. Now, Champaign County GOP Rep. Jim Jordan claims the FBI was actually plotting to prevent Trump from becoming president. He told Fox News the House Judiciary Committee is preparing to subpoena several FBI and Justice Department officials he believes may have been attempting to discredit Trump. I think they were putting together a plan to keep Donald Trump from becoming the next president of the United States, Jordan said in a televised interview. Jordan said the committee is preparing subpoenas for Justice Department official Bruce Orr, who had ties to an opposition research firm that produced a controversial research dossier about Trump's alleged ties to Russia. The committee is also planning to subpoena a pair of FBI agents Peter Strzok and Lisa Page who were once part of Robert Mueller's special counsel investigation of Trump. The pair who were having an affair had sent each other text messages that backed Clinton and were critical of Trump. They are no longer part of Mueller's team. He also said the committee plans to hear from FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, who is believed to be critical of Trump. Everything points to the fact that there was an orchestrated plan to try to prevent Donald Trump from being the next president of the United States, Jordan told Fox. Democrats including Clinton have blamed former FBI Director Comey for her election loss to Trump. She recently told CNN that Comey's October 28 announcement that she was under investigation made people think they should NT waste their vote on her. I would have won but for Jim Comey's letter on October 28 Clinton told CNN. I think every day that goes by, the evidence of that becomes clearer, so, who plotted against whom? Probing all the accusations will keep Jordan and other members of Congress busy into 2018. It's time. HTTPS Rep. Jim Jordan at Jim. Jordan December 19, 2017.